Hey everybody, how you doing? Me again. All right. The topic of this video is how I've managed how I've managed to minimize my shedding. Um, now, shedding of your hair is something that naturally happens every time you comb your hair or brush your hair. Um, you just naturally lose a certain amount of hair, and that's normal. That's natural. Um, now, if you look back at some of my previous videos, I've shown you how much hair I used to lose every week when I do my, you know, my washing and detangling. Now, um, I've been trying something lately and I think it's been working really well for me because if you recount you know my previous videos how much hair I used to lose when I detangled um, this is about the amount of hair that I shed now and that's like you know every week and this is the amount that I lost when I kinda stretched things out I think I went two weeks without you know washing my hair I was you know which I usually never do but I was just extremely busy and I just couldn't get to it but this was all the amount of hair that I lost and I think part of the part of it is the fact that I've been keeping my hair pretty much stretched out um, I haven't been manipulating the hair very much but I think one of the things that really made a big difference for me is things I've been using on my scalp. And the major thing that I started using was this, um, I don't know how well you can see this, neem oil. I started using this by itself first because I heard it had good properties for the hair. And I'd use it like, you know, sometimes as a pre-poo. And um, I got this at the Indian store and... Oh, Jesus Christ. This shit smells like hell. But it is supposedly very good for your hair and your scalp. So what I've done is I've taken the neem oil and I've... One second. I took the neem oil and I mixed it with several other things. I made, made like a tonic for my scalp. Um, I took the neem oil and then I made a onion tonic. I took like um, onion skins and I soaked that in vodka for 10 days. And I added cayenne pepper to it. And... Um, shook it up I should have brought it to show you but well I'm telling you what I what I did and uh, so I put that in another little bottle I put that tonic in there and then I add the neem oil to it and I also added um, nettle you know uh, nettle extract I also added um, what is that rosemary oil and some tea tree oil and uh, also I added the castor oil and I put some lavender I think I put some lavender oil in there because this smells horrible and what I do is as a pre poo I'll go in and I'll just put that on my scalp you know, before I put like the conditioner on my hair to, um, you know, to pre-poo, I'll put that in my scalp and, you know, massage it into my scalp like that. And uh, I'll let that sit on my scalp for an hour or two before I wash everything out. And that's when I noticed um, after doing that for about a week or two I really noticed a significant decrease in the amount of hair that I was shedding so um, I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen as uh, the years go by because um, you can see that the ends of my hair are a lot thinner than you know when you get into it and you know I, I think part of this was just um, 
mistakes that I made, you know, like over manipulating the hair and, you know, pulling out here. And um, I did have some health episodes in the past couple of years where I was really sick. And when that happened, I was really shedding a lot of hair, like ridiculous amounts of hair. You know, I thought for... There was one period when I was kind of scared. I thought I was like probably balding, but it was just that my body was under such um, intense stress that, you know, I was shedding a lot of hair. So I figure in another couple of years, you know, like, um, well, I don't know. Once my hair gets to the, the length that I like it to be, I guess I will cut off, you know, these thinner ends you know but for right now I'm not shedding any more hair so it's pretty decent it is what it is I'm I don't really have a very thick head of hair anyway um, but I don't know since I've been doing this maybe I will start to experience a thicker head of hair you know so um, I'll see how that goes but uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions, you want to know more specific details about how I mixed up the tonic, you know, just leave your comments below and I'll give you as much information as I possibly can. So um, you can try it yourself, see how it works for you. And if it does work, you know, please, you know, share your results with me and let me know uh, how it works for you. So... Um, I am going to leave it here and uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe in another few weeks I'll make some more videos. I'll show you some of the hairstyles that I currently wear, you know. I really don't do that much anymore because, you know, like I said, I just, I don't have the time for it. And um, my main objective in all of this is I just want to really show people that, yes, you know, afro textured hair can grow and I think I've been having amazing results you know people see my hair and they think you know well you know your hair looks like that cause you're mixed you know and no it's like well I am mixed but um, I didn't get mixed hair at all you know my hair is just straight up regular African afro textured hair but um, I can change the appearance of it, what it looks like, by the way I manipulate it. So people see my hair, they see the way it looks, um, and they assume that it's something that it's not, you know. So I think everyone can achieve uh, whatever your hair goals are. And seeing how long my hair is growing now, now I am thoroughly convinced that our hair can grow just like everybody else's hair. It's just a matter of learning how to work with it. And you really need to know what works for you specifically. And that just takes time. The only regret that I have is that I can't really wear my hair out in an afro anymore because it's so long that um, it just kind of falls. And when I go outside, if I try to get like a perfect globe by the time I go outside the wind just knocks it all over the place so it's like what's the point but anyway guys I will see you later and if you have any questions any comments you know where to leave them leave them below and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like it and if you don't like it fuck you so have a wonderful day bye bye